This morning, we're gonna head out. We're gonna try to knock out 300 acres. It is corn fungicide season. I've done about 5,000 miles with the drones up top there. Rolling hills, smaller fields, but we got this. Hey, good morning. It's July 11th. I'm Mike with New Way Ag. Jason just pulled in. We're getting ready to take the New Way Ag trailer, headed out to do corn. It is corn fungicide season. We are hot and heavy into the spray season. Start early morning, go to late at night, covering acres. This morning, we're gonna head out. We're gonna try to knock out 300 acres. Not a ton of acres for us, really. We can do anywhere from 500 to 1,000 acres a day off of the New Way Ag trailer. We got basically everything. We're just gonna double check everything, make sure everything's tied down. And then we're gonna head out of here. Come with us, check it out. We're gonna show you guys how you can have a, an efficient drone spray business using the New Way Ag trailer and these DJI drones. Okay, getting topped off with gas. People ask me all the time, what is your cost of operating? We'll just do some quick numbers. You guys can do your own numbers, but so if we're doing 14 gallons of gasoline in the, each generator, in this generator and that generator, and here it's 334 a gallon, it's like $46 in gasoline per generator to keep our drones in the air for 10 hours in a day. Like that, that's insane compared to what the cost is for other applications. Ground rigs, big $600,000 ground rigs. I know they're using more diesel fuel than that. The biggest thing is probably our, you know, truck diesel. We're getting maybe, I would say on the high end, $150 a day in diesel fuel in our truck, but 46 bucks per generator. Come on, you do the numbers. guys ask me all the time, do you travel with your drones up top? We absolutely do. I've done about 5,000 miles with the drones up top there, have had absolutely no problem. We have the big 1,000 gallon water, mixing tank, 175 gallon, and then a 50 gallon. What that one's for is I can pull this hose out and I can spray whatever I need. That's a little bit of our setup. You gotta have the bike because if your drone is in the back corner, gets stuck or something, you gotta go rescue the thing, get on your bike and go get it done. Wow, that is beautiful, folks. Check out those cornfields down through there. That's the stuff that we're gonna be spraying. New way trailer pulling in right now. Rolling hills, smaller fields, but we got this, I'm telling you guys. We're gonna show you guys how efficient these drones can be knocking out these acres. Okay, here we go. I'm flying around where the corn is. I'm literally flying there and then dropping points. And so right here, you see on this screen, you yeah. see how the field is starting to develop. Okay. And then once you have this built once, like it saves it to the system and you don't have to do this again. And you come back here to spray this field 15 different times, you're just gonna send the drone into that same field. Nice. The efficiency is way better. Okay, so now we have some obstacles. Let's check and see. Do you do another perimeter around the obstacles? Yep, so I'm going to mark these obstacles. Obstacle point added. So I have to go here, I have to go to local, I have to select, I have to upload. Okay, there it is. It should be up now. I created boundaries on my phone earlier. We just wanted to double check if those were good to go. We got everything mixed up and now we got a new pilot that's going to launch a T-50, go down in there and start spraying this stuff. Absolutely gorgeous fields. A little bit on the smaller side, but we can totally get this knocked out. It's a little hilly, but the T-50's radar are perfect for this. So we're gonna get it launched and go spray. Okay, we got the first load going out. The swath on this T-50, I'm telling you, is amazing. Those things are booking it. These 50s are so nice. Oh yeah, yep. This 50 is getting this thing knocked out. It's not gonna take long to get this, and then we're gonna be on to the next one.
All right, got done at that first location. It was only like 60 acres. Took maybe an hour, bunch of different boundaries, multiple little fields with inside of that 60 acres. Now we're moving out to the next one. We got the new way trailer in front of us. We're gonna cut through that timber. Okay, we're uh, here at the second location. We've been flying for a little bit. Guys are getting this knocked out. We'll be uh, done here in a little bit, and then we're moving on to the next farmer. I'm telling you, so nice. The new way ag trailer. If you guys are wanting to do drone spraying, or if you are currently doing drone spraying, you gotta check out our trailer. I'm telling you, it is so efficient, like having everything on top of the flight deck there, and then your supplies in the bottom. It just makes everything run so much easier. Check it out, newayag.com, spell N-U-W-A-Y-A-G.com. We're almost wrapped up here. Jay's got one more field that the drone's back in there working it, and uh, we're gonna be on to the next one. All right, we're at the third location now. This type of spray with drones, you have to move a lot if you don't have big fields. Look at that drone work. Absolutely laying it down. Okay guys, I'll give you another update. We're on uh, location number three or four right now. We got a drone over here, knocking out some more acres. We just got done with this one here. And then we're going to move on to the number five setup, I think. We're well beyond 200 acres already. If you guys want to see more detailed type of videos, leave it in the comments. Let us know what you want to see and I'll try my best to make that happen. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and even share this video if you think that it could help somebody, a farmer, a friend, or whatever. If, if you just think it's cool, hit that subscribe. Do it! I really appreciate it. Sincerely, when I say that, I mean it because you guys could watch anything else that you wanted on YouTube and you chose to watch this. So. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys on the next one later.